What's up everybody Aditya Mahajan here and welcome back to yet another YouTube video. So in today's video we'll be solving yet another easy lead code problem problem number 1089 also called as duplicate zero. Now the initial two methods are very simple but the third one without the extra space is pretty uh, interesting so let's get started. The problem states that we are given a fixed integer array and we need to duplicate each occurrence of zero shifting the remaining elements to the right. Also, elements beyond the length of original array are not written and do the above modifications to the input array in place and we do not have to return anything. So what they are basically saying is whenever we encounter a zero, for example, in here, the second element is zero. So we just duplicate that zero shifting all other elements and we keep on doing that for every encountered zero. Also, the original array is to be modified and at the end the length of that array should remain the same that is the extra elements that are present after inserting zero should not be added to the element and should be ignored that is to the right okay so uh, the most brute force approach is like using the insert function that is present for vector so what we are doing is we are iterating through the vector array checking if any element is zero and we are just inserting uh, that particular thing to be zero now the problem with this is that uh, it would be it would be causing a TLE because the insert function every time inserting shifts every element every time. Okay, that causes a TLE. Now uh, the second approach that we can look at, look at is with the help of an extra array that is with extra space. What we are doing is we are just creating a one more answer vector and uh, will iterate through the array vector that we are given and every time uh, we encounter a zero we add two zeros if it is not zero we just push back the same element and once we reach the size of the uh, size of the new array that we created equal to the size of the original array we just break out of this for loop okay once that is done we just uh, modify the original array uh, with the new array that we created and that's it that's the solution so this works and you can use this now for our final approach what we need to do is we need to remove the extra space that we used in our previous uh, method too okay so if you look at the example what we have uh, what comes to mind whenever you compare these two arrays that is the input and whatever we need to return as output now, if you compare these two properly, uh, we see that there is a point at which where after those, the elements would just be ignored, right? We do not need to take care of those. That is, uh, after that point, uh, that is, we'll say expected endpoint. Okay. So after expected endpoint, we can just ignore those elements and that space that is generated is sufficient enough to accommodate the zeros that are available. Okay. Now there is a possibility that after removing those element, there is one more possibility that for the last zero, there is only a uh, space available to accommodate one zero. Okay. So that is our uh, edge zero case. Okay. We'll just come to that in a minute. Now, uh, this expected edge, uh, expected endpoint is the point after which we do not need to take care of. And only thing that matters is the previous elements of this expected endpoint. Now, let's say if we have this expected endpoint, uh, what after that do we need to do is we just need to add extra zeros wherever there are zeros. So if you take a look at this part, then wherever there is a zero, we just we just are adding a zero and rest of the elements are just uh, getting uh, uh, staying there. So we can just traverse in reverse. And if there is a same element, we'll just add that. If there is a zero, we'll add two zeros. Okay, so you got it. If we have the expected endpoint, then the problem becomes pretty simple. So, is there a way that we could uh, find this expected endpoint? Okay, so we can actually find this expected endpoint with a two pointer approach. Okay, now uh, if we take a look at the two pointer approach, what we'll be doing is we'll be uh, taking one uh, first pointer, which would be pointing to our original array, and second pointer, which would be pointing to our new array uh, i mean the output that we need to return okay so this will make a lot more sense once we start looking at the solution okay but just for the approach just make sure that uh you understand two concepts that is we are finding an endpoint we are handling the edge case that is uh, let's say there is a zero which in which there is only space to accommodate one zero but not the second zero 
and after handling the edge case we are just updating after the end point that is the elements before that uh, expected end point okay now for the solution what we are doing is we are taking two pointers first is i equal to zero first is i which is starting from zero second is temp now i would be pointing to our original array and temp would be pointing to our uh, new sort of array which we would be returning okay and the edge case is actually a boolean that we are uh, taking into consideration to take the case where there is only possibility of including one extra zero uh, whenever uh, at the end zero okay now for looking at that what we are doing is we are just iterating while our uh, new pointer of the new returning array is less than the size of the original array that is our uh, main uh condition that is given right we we only the elements beyond the original length are not written okay so that is why we are just adding this array size after that what we are doing is every time we encounter a non-zero element that is we do we are having one or two or three anything other than zero we are just incrementing both of them because they would remain the same the point comes whenever we encounter a zero we need to check that if that zero can be accommodated. I mean, if both of the zeros can be accommodated in our uh, current array. Okay. So that can be done by checking the new pointer. Is it equal to the array size? Okay. Uh, array size index basically. So if that, if that is equal to that, it means that we can only uh, accommodate uh, only one zero and the other zero would just be left open. Okay, so in that case, we are just making this uh, flag true and we'll handle that in just a minute. Okay, now if uh, we see that there is enough space to add both zeros, in that case, we'll just increment temp also by two. Okay, so increment temp by one, but incre uh, increment i by one, but increment temp by two. And if it is a non zero, uh, in that case, we'll just increment both by one only. Now, after this, uh, what we'll be having is we'll be having temp at the edge of the endpoint. Okay, that is at this point. Now, this point we have got the expected endpoint. The only thing that remains is to handle the edge case and update the elements which are on the left side of that particular uh, endpoint. Okay. Now, for handling the edge case, uh, the i and temp would be pointing to five. So we just decrement that, and uh, we just check if the edge case is getting triggered and in that case we'll just add one zero okay that is whatever was present in our original array and we decrement temp and that now as the edge case is handled now what we need to do is we need to update the left side of the elements in the final array uh, that is the original array okay so what we do is we just iterate uh, as we incremented we reach till i till the end of the array we just uh, go on go in the reverse order okay and we go till i is greater than zero now here what we do is if we encounter a non-zero element we just add uh, that element so let's say if we are having four we'll just add four but if we are encountering a zero in that case we'll add two zeros so that is what we are doing and once we are uh, we exit out of this while loop we are having our solution and uh, in this case we do not have to return so that's our solution uh, i hope you understood the third approach it was very tricky i don't think this approach was uh, should be considered in easy but yeah if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section below if you need more such content uh, do subscribe to the channel uh, i make interview experiences lead code problems projects etc so yeah that's all and i'll see you in the next one